we decided to create a quark using the terminal application built into every Mac. Hello. Hello, my name is Alex. Did you know that you can make your Mac talk to you in over 60 voices and regional accents? So I think the voice we want is good news. So that's say, be good. Cool. <laughs> Mm. So it's actually very obviously. Sounds so, I think if we gave it a little bit of Latin text, <laughs> it might have the capacity to sound something a little bit different, especially if we get some re reverb on it later. So let's try that. Let's give it a bit of um, the Latin math. So, Anus Dei, Quitolis, Pecata, Mundi. Let's have a go. Agnus Dei, Quitolis, Pecata. Yeah, Ooh. I reckon that on its own, with all the weird emphasis that the computer gives it, could be a really nice starting point for some Gregorian chant. So this program will analyse the audio and then give me full control over it. So first of all, you've got to play it to the software. It's going to analyse it. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So it's now going to detect the audio, and that's what we got. Lovely. And now we can manipulate every part of this. <laughs> we can make it sound like a real man. That's amazing. Can you pick the chat? Uh, yeah, we've got a number of choices. Uh, we have empty church. We have tall cathedral. Roman cathedral. Roman cathedral. Go Roman on. cathedral. Let's see what this one sounds like. Would it be possible to duplicate the voices so we were listening to a plain chant yes. choir? Yes, it would. <laughs> Anything is possible. made a monster. I still think we need real choirs though. <laughs> yes. The music transcends the divisions between nations and cultures and backgrounds. Hello there. I have an incredible vocal range. La. La.